Welcome to the Pew. The Pew. The Pew, America's most talked about uh, talk show. Talked about yet ignored. Talked about yet ignored. Um, <laughs> talked about more than talk. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> more than the Chew, more than the View, more than Timbuktu. Timbuktu. So, what are we talking about today? Oh my gosh. The party we went to last night. Yeah, we went to uh, our friends, the uh, It Twins. The Robert it Twin uh, had a party at kids. his house in uh, Bushwick, um, some of the original club kids. And it was really fun seeing them, and uh, we saw other familiar faces that Chip, were there. Chip Duckett was there. He was yeah. a, a promoter at um, you know Mars, and he was a gay promoter. Um, and he and I had a very kind of interesting conversation last night. Well, he was uh, also a producer for all of Joan Rivers' live shows for the mm. past 17 years. So he was saying how sad he felt that yeah. she died. I mean, obviously well, he was he did a lot of shows for her. But, uh, you know, he probably was really good friends with her at the same time. Yeah. Well, he actually told me something that I think I already knew, that he didn't really like me back, <laughs> back then. And I told him, you know... Surprise! No, I told him, you know, I didn't like, like myself back then. And I'm, you know, a, you know, a much different person now. And he said, he, he kind of like started crying. He said, I can see that. And he hugged me. And he said, I, I love you. You know, it's really nice. Wow, well, that's great. Yeah, it was really. Unlike uh, another oh promoter God. that you recently ran into. I couldn't believe it. Lee Chapel. I really couldn't believe it, Ernie. Lee Chapel is a longtime New York City promoter. Who well, well, okay. Got his start with. Yeah, with me. Um, at one point, uh, one of the club owners that I was at, the Frank Rocky with World, said, uh, you know, Marco, we need five new promoters. So I went out and I found, looks for five popular, honest, you know, funny, charismatic people. Ernie, you were one of them. And uh, Lee Chapel was one, and uh, David Lee was another one. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we gave them parties to promote. You promoted your, what was your first party? I think it was like my fake mustache. Yes, that was it. Yes, it was because Ernie had a thing with the... That's one of my... That, was, that was a shtick. But before we tell you what happened with, with Lee Bowery, we're, uh, with Lee Bowery, with Lee Chapel, she wishes, we will go to a commercial. And now a word from our sponsor. What's in, what's out, what it's all about. I know what it's all like. Welcome back to the pew. Welcome back. Welcome back to the pew. So we were going to tell you the, about Lee Chapel. It's just a wonderful story. Um, I was at the uh, club space. Space Ibiza. Yes. It's the new super club. Is it Space Ibiza or Ibiza Space? It's Ibiza Space. And it's the new super club in New York City, and which is... Kind super. Of, yeah, super. Um, anyway, so what did Lee... So, uh, so uh, Lee, I think, is like the creative director of the club or something. And she, we call her she because she was like kind of like a drag queen back then, and people discuss she. Lee was very influenced by Boy George. Yes, he has yes. often it's played homage strange. to Boy yeah. George in right. his looks. And so anyway, so uh, I gave Lee her first job at the World, where she worked for probably a week, uh, I'm sorry, a year, and then I gave her a job at Red Zone. And then Disco 2000, and then La Palaza. She worked for me for about five years, and I think I was. I can probably say I was the only one who hired her. So what happened at the I, I, Space of Visa? Well, I, well, I saw her and I walked up and I said, oh my gosh, Lee. And she went, and she turned around and walked away. This. Yeah, I mean like total snub. I like... Well, maybe he wasn't dissing you and was so shocked to see you that he well, didn't know what to say. That could be the case. And also he was with three or four people in suits and um, he was showing them the club and I don't know what... You know, not a good time for a tearful reunion. Not a good time for a reunion with a something like that. <laughs> so I uh, forgive Lee. It's tis the season to forgive. But I won't forget. Okay. Welcome back. Welcome back to the Pew. To our new segment, our Bitches new segment. Wanna Know. It's actually not our new segment, it's the same old segment of questions. No, it's a new viewers. segment. 
It okay. has a new name. It's a new segment. Okay. New and improved. New and improved. So, what's the first question? I'm having your thing again. <laughs> okay. The first question is... Uh, oh my gosh. The, the writing is so small, I yeah, can't read it. Yeah, I know. It's from somebody called Drink All the Sunshine. And um, they say, can you please make a video on your detox experience, the other half of heroin? Can we please make a video on that? Nobody wants to see a uh, yeah. painful, I mean, agonizing no, video. No, you know what? Watch Christian F. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you'll know. We have it on DVD. Or Requiem for a Dream. It did well, pain, like no, 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 don't watch Requiem for a Dream. You remember, you hated that movie. You, I did hate you it. You said how horrible it was. Why would you just tell them to watch it? Because somebody wants to know about detox. And I mean, Christian is, F. Isn't detox and awful? And it's Christian, I think with an E at that. Right. Christian F. And it's German, and you're supposed to watch it. Next okay. question. Okay, next question. Uh, this is from uh, F uh, M L L A S I. What the f hell is that? I don't know. Uh, uh, wow. Michael, it's almost scary how well you do your makeup. Oh, well. <laughs> Challenge, do you have any neon like makeup laying around? Well, isn't that an interesting question? Because because you didn't do your makeup the last time you were wearing that's it. That's not you. why I was going to say it was interesting. Oh, okay. Because when I was in my storage unit, I found a whole box of neon makeup. I don't think you should use it. Yeah, probably not. I mean, it, probably. it goes bad. Yeah. But anyway, it's just interesting. Okay, the next question. Joshua Colors. Have either of you been to some of the recent gay pride parades earlier this year or in years past? Yes, I went to the San Francisco Gay Pride Parade in July and it was really fun. I thought it was actually better than New York City's because it was bigger, there were more outdoor free events and uh, there were more different types of music than in New York. Well, the only times we were went to the Pride Parade were when we were on floats for the clubs we were. You know. I went to it every year in New York City. I've always gone to it since like the early '80s. Yeah, I mean, late early early, early '90s because um, our clubs always had floats, you know, and we would float. So float on. So float on. See you next See time. See you next time at the pew.